Hey guys, I'm Walker here, and welcome to episode 3 of our Wind Waker HD Let's Play. Uh, we're here in the Forsaken Fortress, and I'm going to hide in a barrel, and I think I'm going to try to correct, collect these. I think if I stay still, when the light goes over me, I'll be fine. Oh. Oh, what happened? Alright, so I did not get the things. I was moving too soon. A little bit too eager. But I'm thrown into one of these places, which I think is okay. Pick this up, and... I don't know where this goes. I... This is gonna be new, but we'll see what happens. Maybe this takes us closer to where we want to be. Okay, treasure chest, which is nice. Dungeon map. Okay, so that's helpful. Um, ooh, almost didn't make that. Um, let's take a look at the map. Let's try going this way. Um, so the goal here... Okay. So, I th the goal here is going to be to... Yeah, I don't know why it keeps showing me that. But it's going to be to get up and turn off these huge lights. Um, because that's the reason I was found. Um, she's asking me to talk to her, but I already, I already know what I'm supposed to do, so I'm not going to worry about it. Um, I don't have my sword. Oh, he heard me. Okay, so you can see his lights are up. But I have this stick thing. So I can attack him with it. I just have the general swing attack though. Alright, so that's one. Um, looks like I can get to that one as well. Can I climb this wall? Can't get up that wall. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to climb up here and then try to jump to it. Oh, it won't let me. Okay. The ladder's there, so <clears throat> what I'll do is I'll go through here and out the other side. Perfect. Alright. Again, she's trying to talk to me, but I'm pretty sure it's just... Make sure you go up and get the lights to turn off, so... Alright. So, where'd he go? Alright. <clears throat> so that would be number two. The third one is over here. So, I guess we'll go this way. Okay. I always get nervous with those things because at times I don't time it right. Uh, 
Okay, not that way. How about this way? Yep. Okay. So let's head up here and... Okay, I'll just hit A just so she can say her little piece. There's a monster running the searchlight. You can slay them and it just might shut it down. Okay, so she just said, I can use my shield to deflect their attack. We'll do that this time. Um, did not work. Okay, perfect. So he lost that thing. So this would be another way if there was no jars up here with sticks in it, but there are, so... Ow. Really? Is that him? Is he dead? Yep. <coughs> oh. We got a joy pendant. That keeps in my spoil bag. The pendant are said the pendants are said to flock to those who spread joy. Like butterflies to nectar filled blossoms. So there you go. Um it looks like I can't reach that ladder, but what I can do is go down here and get these rubies or rupees. Um, I'm trying to think how to... Let's go through this door. Trying to figure out how to get up to where I need to be. Um, let's look at the map. Okay, so I want to get up to the second floor, so I will go... Yeah, I will go this way. Um, this guy has a searchlight, so I'll try not to get caught. Um, I think I, as long as I don't go in front of him, I'll be okay. And wait for him to turn around. <coughs> Alright, so this will be the waiting game why... That was fairly easy. Um, there's some bats here. There's some mice. We're still making it around. Oh. Looks like another. Is there just one of them? I don't know if he can see me from this far away. Oh, yeah, okay. So we will stay still for now until he turns. Alright, so far so good. Oh, laser-eyed pig, not good. Let's get through here. Okay, so... I seem to be farther away. Okay, in fact I am. There was a ladder in this room behind me. I'll see if I can use that to get up. Hopefully the... I don't get zapped by the laser pig. There's also a chest right there, but I feel like I'll get hit if I try to use it. Alright, so we can get up. Now, which way do I want to go? X. Okay, so I want to get out this side of the room. Ooh, that was close. 
All right. So sorry, sorry for the little bit of navigation here, but um, nothing in there. Nothing over there. Nothing over there. Okay, so keep going. Oh, here we go. Got to get to the store. Two guards to get by this time. Okay, he saw me, so I'm going to not move. This might take a little bit because of where they're placed right now. There's a mouse running up the wall. Nothing like a suspicious barrel walking around. These guys are the worst guards. But, anyway. Hopefully he will continue around his corner. Oh, I did not get far enough. Unfortunately. I might be being too careful, but I don't want to get thrown back all the way to that first place we got thrown. Um. Okay. So I got seen again. I don't know if there's a certain number of times you can get seen, but... So far I'm okay. I'm in a bad spot though now, because... I need the guy behind me to turn around and him to keep facing the way he is. Okay, so I think I'll be able to get up there after this guy turns. It looks like he's trying to smell me out. But his nose was just right on me. Darren didn't recognize he was going to see me. Okay. Alright, I think I'm good. That was a bit painful. But we're slowly making our way to the top. There's another barrel here. Which I'll have to use. Oh, come on. Please don't see me. That'll be bad. This part of the game is really slow, guys. I have to apologize, but we'll it'll pick up soon. As soon as I get out of this part, I mean, this this is just a bit tedious. I don't have a sword or anything. I can't just come flying through. Keep going. I don't know if I can go now. Maybe I'll try to go when he's turned the other way. Yeah. Darn. Uh, okay. Wait another little bit. Ooh, maybe I can go when he's turned that way. No. The answer is no. I guess I'm still in his little light circle, so... Alright, I'm going to lose this because I think I can just cruise on up here now. Uh, 
Okay, so this is another new mechanic for me anyway. The sidle, which is just get across a um, very thin ledge. It's a cool mechanic. Um, the downfall is you can't do anything when you're, like you can't attack or let go of anything. So I guess you have to make sure you're clear to go before you actually try it. And you gotta make sure you're really far past the ledge when you stop. All right, so we're here. I see my sword. Super excited, but this guy sees me, so let's just. All right, got my sword back. Let's take out this guy. I can pick up weapons in this game. I don't know if they're better or worse, but it's it's cool. I'm, it's something new that, again, new to me that they added, which I like. Because you can pick up some pretty big swords later on. Anyway, time to go in here. Alright, so we found the girls. Well, oh, my controller's rumbling. Alright. Seems like a fight. No. He just took me. Alright guys, I'm just looking at the time. This episode's going to be a bit longer just due to what we have to see right now. Um, not a big deal though. Um, after this, it should be better episodes, more exciting, but this is just get the storyline all set up. I just got tossed. I thought that was a bit longer, but I guess not. Mysterious boat. All right, so here we are in a little alcove, I guess you'd call it. And the boat is a massive headed dragon thing. I would be terrified as well. On the only boat who can speak the words of men. I am the king of red lions. Do not fear. I am not your enemy. Been watching you since you went to the Forsaken Fortress to rescue your sister. I understand how your desire to protect your sister could give you the courage to stand up to anything. Such a bold attempt was foolhardy. I suppose you saw him the shadow that commands that monstrous bird. His name is Ganon. Dun dun dun. He obtained the power of the gods, attempted to cover the land in darkness, and has was ultimately sealed away by the very power he hoped to command. Alright guys, so this is our classic Zelda Ganon evil character. Um, the Emperor of the Dark Realm, the ancient legend speaks of. I do not know why the sealed of gods failed, but now the Ganon has returned. The world is once again being threatened by his evil magic. 
Do you still wish to save your sister from him? Head nod, yes. And you're doing anything to save her? Another head nod. In that case, I shall guide you forward, advise you of what you should do and where you must go. Ganon cannot be defeated by human hands, let alone by what little strength you possess. Rude. Um, the key is locked away in the great power. Do you understand? Subtle head nod. In that case, we depart to the great sea. He's embarrassed because he possesses no sail. And a boat with no sail can sail no seas. Um... Uh, Okay, so surely you can find someone who will sell you a sail. <laughs> Alright, so this town is like the city hub of this game. Um, Windfall Island. So you get some characters around the island. Oh, excuse me. It's early and I'm tired. But, yeah, so you get some characters littered about the island. Um, I think I know what most of them do, but we can go around and talk to them. There's like a potion shop and a nothing area. Um... We got this weird guy, and this guy looks like he has a shop outdoors. My story is a strange one. I came across curses from a far, a land far away. Uh, dear me, my ship was torn apart by winds, and the island washed me ashore. There was one other person with me, but I dare say he was immediately arrested based on somewhat suspicious looks and thrown right into jail. Needless to say, I'm really worried about him. Could you be so kind as to free him from captivity? Alright, so we kind of have our first quest. Um, which would be go to the jail. Which, from playing before, I know it's out here. Uh, past it, sorry, right here. Let's go see his suspicious friend who is locked up. Ooh. Any Zelda fans will know this is our good friend Tingle, I think. Wow. Okay, I've been looking for you, blah blah blah. He was mistaken for a troublemaker. Now he's in jail. Alright, so... I don't think I need that pot on my head. I just picked it up so I could get by it. Alright, thank you very much. Here's a heartfelt gift, gift of thanks. Alright. A Tingle Bottle. Using Miiverse, which is the Wii U online universe, uh, you can insert a message you've written and send it to sea for someone unknown to receive. I cannot write letters. Oh, excuse me, guys. I cannot write letters if I'm not part of the Miiverse. And Tingle Chart. What kind of chart could it be? Head out to the sea and check your charts on the map screen to find out. Open it up in the map screen. If you need any help with your charts, just leave it to Tingle. Don't ever forget it. And if you'd like to give your Tingle bottles that extra little oomph that's all Tingles crave, you should check out the back of this cell. Alright, so because this is and a special save new game. Okay. So we'll be seeing these bottles around when we're sailing about, but... Um, 
Yeah, it's not a big deal. Um, there's a tingle chair. You can see I'm here. Um, if we zoom in, that's the island I'm on. So it's it's a pretty large map to cover. And then we have the tingle chart, which shows you where tingle is, as well as um, two fairy looking things. And it aligns with the grid, so that's helpful. Anyway, like I was saying, um, this is a really long episode, and I should have cut it a long time ago, but I didn't, and I forgot. Sorry about that. This is where you'd go to get um, this picture box thing. Um, that's where you first get it in the new game, but because this is in basically a new game, special new game save, I already have it, so I don't need to go get it. Anyways, guys, again, I'm going to apologize for the length of the video. I'll try to keep it shorter next time, um, now that the original store, or the initial story is out of the way. So I'll cut it here, and we'll pick it up next time by going back to talk to the shop merchant. Um, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like button. It helps me out, let you know you guys are enjoying the series. Anyways, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.